Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to RNG abuse the 3DS uh, Pokemon from the, uh, the Nintendo 3DS Dream Radar app in RNG Reporter. This is not an officially supported feature of RNG Reporter, so it's kind of a pain. It requires using a bunch of, uh, some, a few obscure features you've never really used before, probably. Uh, and it also requires a lot of, like, hand searching through seeds to find the right nature that you want. Uh, if you have a Mac, I'd recommend using PPRNG or an iPhone. It's actually on iPhone as well. Uh, those are the uh, Mac version of RNG Reporter, basically. If you have access to an iPhone or a Mac, just use that instead. It's very, very simple on those. Um, but here it's not so simple, so we're going to do some explaining. Uh, why is it not simple? Well, for one, uh, the Dream Radar RNG is completely different than any RNG in 5th generation, basically. And what do I mean by that? So, this guide is only going to be covering how to RNG regular Pokemon, not legendaries. So, the legendaries, you only get one shot at transferring. Uh, and I will have a different guide covering them, because they are a little different than this, but they, they are very similar. Uh, and, they, um, since, <laughs> how do I say this? Since you get multiple tries on regular Pokemon, uh, it's easier to get a hang of how to do this kind of RNG through the regular Pokemon. Uh, because you can try as many times as you want with them. You can, like, if you mess up your Riolu, you can go and you can catch another one and send it over. Whereas if I RNG a Tornado Sterane, send him over, he's a pile of garbage, I can't go catch another one and send it over. I can only catch one and send it over once. So that's how that works. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, what else is different? Well, since we're only doing transfer slot one, uh, there's six transfer slots. This is only going to cover on how to RNG the Pokemon who is in transfer slot number one. You probably, you really can't RNG multiple uh, slots at a time, although you can RNG any one of the slots individually. Um, I think it's easiest to RNG slot one. Uh, it doesn't matter if you, um, like you could, because like if you have six Pokemon and you wanted to RNG the second slot one, right away, I think it's actually almost easier just to send them all over and then go back and catch that one as your first one. Um, so, like I said, only covering slot one. Uh, so, slot one Pokemon can only use IV frames with an even number. Uh, and that is because every time you advance the frame, not only does it advance the nature frame, like uh, how usual, like you go to advance the PID frame, which is the nature frame, uh, it would just advance the nature normally, but in this, it advances the IV and the nature at the same time. So your IV is tied to the nature. So your stats, if you find a Pokemon with like six perfect stats, like a spread in Time Finder, and when you go to check it in the main window of RNG Reporter and the nature is like a garbage nature, like serious, uh, you can't get any other nature with that seed, that means. So that seed will always have a serious nature. Uh, and the stats, if you wanted to switch it, like you want to use that seed to switch the nature, uh, then the stats would be awful. So at the end of the day, uh, you have to do a lot of manual searching through your seeds to find uh, a nature that you would want. Okay. The last thing to cover, and I think uh, one of the most important things to cover, is how to um, how do you advance the frames. So you don't actually where you receive Pokemon from the Dream Radar is here in the uh, the Unova link menu. You'd go to here the 3DS link. It says right there, receive research data from the 3DS download software, Pokemon Dream Radar. Uh, but how you advance the frames is in the first option here, the key system. So. When you boot on your game after, you know, going into Time Finder, finding the time, booting the DS up with the on timer, all that jazz, is you'd boot the game up, go into Key System, hit Send and Receive Keys, and when you hit Yes here, you take a look at the Save Spinner in the corner. And when you hit A, it, it it's very quick. You're going to see a Save Spinner and see where it first popped up, and then you back out immediately. So I'll give an example here. Ready? So we're going to be looking in this corner. Hit A. Uh, if you could see it for just a split second, it was facing right. So we're going to check again. And that time it was facing right and down. So that is how you advance it. So like, let's say I had to do four uh, frame advancements. I'd go here. I'd make sure it matched what I said. So it was up, up left. I go in, or up right. I go in again. 
and I do that four times. Uh, however, this also means that you can confirm you're on the correct seed while you're advancing it, uh, because it will be facing a specific direction if you hit the correct seed. Um, I'll, you'll see that again later on, but it's just these are important explanations before you uh, get underway. Okay, so with all that out of the way, all that crazy, completely different than normal information, you're going to want to go into your RNG reporter and we're going to finally start searching for seeds. All right. So, go into Time Finder, 5th generation Time Finder, and you're going to use the Capture tab and IV Standard Seed and Wild Pokemon. Uh, the encounter slot doesn't matter, the nature doesn't matter, and the ability doesn't matter. Right. And the gender doesn't matter either. Um, they're using this method, as far as I know, there's no way to control um, the gender. Uh, they're usually female, uh, and there's the Pokemon can't be shiny. And the nature you can't really control. You can, if the seed you has, uh, you you find ends up having the nature you want, that's good. But otherwise, you have to just move along to the next seed. So you're gonna want to check every single month off. Uh, put key presses if you want, so you can get the most results. The minimum frame is, I'm going to put 16. Uh, normally, you'd leave the IV frame untouched, actually. However, since when you advance the IV frame, it also changes the nature frame. Uh, you need to advance the IV frame in this case, and it is what I just taught you with the key system advancing here. Um, I do 16 because you have to verify that you're on the correct seed before uh, you send the Pokemon in. Um, otherwise, you would be unsure as to whether or not you're on the right frame, and you could risk sending the, uh, the wrong Pokemon over. The max frame I have is uh, 76. You can make it higher if you want. It's just how many times you go. Like I said, you go into key systems, you, and you check the send and receive keys thing. It's, it's how many times you do this. Um, I just don't want it to go too high. Simple as that. And I'm going to set my stats. Whoops, I do not want special attack. I don't care about that. So I'll meet you back when I have some results. All right. Now that you have some seeds that you can search through, uh, you're going to want to just pick one out. So how do you go about selecting a seed? Um, so the first thing is, like I said, we can only do even seeds. So anything that's an odd number is ruled out. Like this 35, can't use it. So I'm just going to, I think the best way is probably to just pick the first seed and keep testing all the even seeds until you find one that's good. So I want to pick the first seed, right click copy seed to clipboard like usual, scroll down to Gen 5 PID RNG, paste your seed, check black and white too, and check memory link if you've used it. Uh, then hit calculate initial PID frame and hit generate. So these are all the natures. How do we find out what nature we're going to get? So what I mean by this is these stats are tied to a specific nature somewhere along here. Um, so how do we figure that out? There's no feature in RNG Reporter to figure it out, so we got to math it up. Um, so open your calculator and open a. Uh, in the description, I'm gonna have some formulas listed for you, but here they are on my screen. Um, the formulas just take some small amount of information, and you have to plug it into the calculator as such to uh, figure out what of these nature you're going to land on. So, uh, and just a disclaimer for, I did not figure this out. Um, I will link the original guide in my description as well to where I got this information. Uh, because it is so complicated and reading it and seeing some pictures as well might be able to help you out. So anyway, we take the initial PID frame, which for me is 58, and you add the offset to that. The offset is going to be either the number one or two if you're using a gender or a genderless Pokemon. So uh, I'm using a gendered Pokemon, so I'm going to plus two to oops, so I'm going to plus two to fifty-eight. Then we add the IV target frame. Uh, so that is, if you go into back into fifth gen time finder, whatever this number here is. So minus sixteen. So I'm going to hit plus sixteen, and then it's seventy-six, and then you subtract you subtract eight from that. And there we go. So I'm going to hit a rash nature with uh, these stats. However, if you used memory link, you subtract one from this number. 
So I did use memory link, so I will be hitting number 67, and I will be receiving a jolly natured Pokemon. So that is acceptable for a Riolu, in my opinion. Um, so now uh, what we do from here is figure out how many advancements we're going to be needing to make. So the advancements, again, is going into the key system and checking the little spinner. Uh, the advancements formula is this one. It is IV frame minus 8 divided by 2. So that is 16 for me. It's Again, it's in time finder. So it's 16. So you go in here, you click, clear that out. 16 minus 8. So that's 8, and that's divided by 2. I mean, I know it's 4, but I'm still doing it anyway. So that means I have to go in here, check the little save spinner, check it, go back, and then I have to do that four times. Okay, so that's what that means. So keep that number, keep the number with you. Okay, so the biggest risk to this is, since it's a one-time thing, like once you send the Pokemon into your game, it's done. If it's wrong, you have to go and catch another Pokemon, um, is confirming we're on the correct seed. And how do you do that? Well, you go into these, uh, the main window of RNG Reporter here and click the Researcher option. So this is kind of a weird window, um, but here under Common RNGs, you're going to scroll down to BWRNG. Under Custom 1, change that to 32-bit high. Then in this box, change it to these two arrows here, and in the last box, you type 29. Then paste your seed in and hit Generate. Um, then you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the uh, starting frame you have here after you calculated initial PID frame. So minus 58. So the numbers in custom one here in this column that say custom one actually correspond to spinner directions. So what I mean by that is if you go back into the key system here and you'd notice, so you just open it and close it real quick. It, the spinner, when it first opened up, was actually facing um, left. That corresponds to one of these numbers. So I have written down here in a nifty little diagram which number corresponds to which direction, and they're in the proper spot. So 0 is up, 4 is down, 2 is right, 6 is left, uh, 1 is upright, 3 is downright, and all that jazz. So that means uh, my spinner directions will follow this pattern, and these numbers correspond to the directions. So if you're using memory link, your starting frame will be your initial frame. So my game has memory link, so that means my starting frame will be 58. If you are not using memory link, your starting frame will be 59. So uh, if you're using memory link, it's the first one. If you're not using memory link, it's the second one. Simple as that. And like I said, um, you can only advance it two at a time. So every time I check, I hit send and receive keys and I check the little spinner guy, it advances it two. So it goes from three and then it'll be one and then it'll be two and then it'll be two and then it'll be five and then five and then six. But if I start with five, it'll be five, and then two, and then two, and so on and so forth. So, but it's not really numbers. It'll be down right, then it'll be upright, then it'll be right, then it'll be right, and I have to do that four times. So, the um, the starting frame actually also counts as an advancement. So when I first check it, after I turn it on at the proper time, it'll be a down right or a three. Then when I back out and I check it again, it'll be a 1, which is an upright. And then when I back out and I check it again, it'll be a 2, which is a right. Then when I back out and I check it again, it'll be another 2. And from there, I can receive my Pokemon. Um, so all that's left for you to do, now that you hopefully understand all of this nonsense, is to go into your DS and change the date and time, in accordance with the time finder. So we're going to go into the 5th gen time finder. And my seed, I have the correct date already, I believe, 119, 2016. And then I scroll into the clock and I change the time. So go to 0, 36. And 
then we're going to um, we're going to boot up the game with Eon Timer. So I have 30, 22 seconds, so I'm going to click Eon Timer. Give it a second to load up. It's on my uh, physical hard drive. <clears throat> okay, so it's already at 22 seconds, so this part is like normal. And then you're going to want to boot up your game at the same time. Um, this is black and white too, so you're going to miss your timer zero probably a few times. Uh, don't be discouraged by that. This will take a few tries, but hopefully uh, you can get it within the first five or six tries. Okay, so now you're just going to start your game and Eon Timer at the same time. And you're going to wait for the countdown like usual. Uh, I don't have any help buttons, so I'm not going to hold anything down, but if you do, you do. This part's the same as normal. Go back to the main screen, start when Eon Timer finishes counting you down. Um, so again, same as usual. I have no key presses, so I hold nothing down until the Game Freak logo. But if I had key presses, I'd hold them down until the Game Freak logo. Uh, so Game Freak logo pops up, go to the main menu, and instead of starting your game, scroll down to Unova Link. So this is where we go to key systems and send and receive keys and check the spinner. So that was bottom right, which is a three, which is what I'm supposed to be on. So I'm on three, I check again. That was up right, which is a one, which is what I want again. Uh, so I'm gonna check it again. So it should be a two next. So that was right, which is a two. And one more time, I calculated four advancements. So that was my fourth one. Now I go back and scroll down to Nintendo 3DS link and I hit yes to receive my Pokemon. And if everything went correctly, I should have a jolly, perfect statted Riolu. That's how that works. Um, you, would, could, you could be doing more advancements, or you could be doing the same advancements as I do. Uh, remember as well, uh, my starting frame was 58, which is the initial starting frame I had. However, if you do not have um, memory link, then your starting frame would be the one after your initial frame. Um, so at this point, the RNG is done. You just got to go to the PC and check your Pokemon, which is what I'm going to do now. Um, I actually, I'm actually apparently I'm saved in Gear Station. I think the last thing I did was the hidden grotto abuse in this game. So I never even moved to the computer after that. So I have to run actually to the PC real quick here. Um, so, like I said, if you get the wrong Pokemon, you can use the. Uh, RNG reporter to determine which frame you hit, how you did the advancements wrong, and so on and so forth. However, if the numbers were wrong and you hit the wrong timer zero when you were when you were checking the keys to see if they were all matched up, uh, jolly. So I probably hit the right one, and it's a male, which is actually pretty rare. Uh, usually they're female from the Dream Radar, but like I said, you can't control the gender, so whatever. So I'm gonna go take him to the IV judge just to double check. Um, so yeah, for example, if I had a diff... I could line up the nature here to figure out what I did wrong. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, um, if the if the keys, if the spinners don't match up, like the numbers, the up, right, down, left of the spinner doesn't match up, then you can just back out and turn the game on, boot it up again to make sure uh, to confirm your seeds. So luckily, that confirms it before you receive the Pokemon even. Um, as you can see, my guy was correct, so if you have any questions, and you, you probably will, just leave them in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, I'll see you guys next time.